Yeah, you're reading the headline right there. Before commenting, check this video out. The message projected onto a screen in a classroom reads, silent reading. I want to kill children, so please sit down and read. I was really concerned for my student's safety as soon as I read it. A mom who wants to stay anonymous was one of a few parents who expressed concern to Fox 31, saying they're surprised the teacher would do something like this. But parents also say kids acting out here often keep teachers on their toes, leading to disciplinary actions for the kids. At least one parent believes this teacher finally reached his breaking point. While some say this message should be taken as a joke, the school district says it is taking this seriously. I do really feel like there's definite disciplinary action that needs to take place. In a statement, school district 27J says our human resources department is aware of the situation and the teacher in question has been placed on administrative leave pending an investigation. The safety and security of our students is our number one priority. After the initial message, parents say this is what children saw, a second post, still saying I want to kill children while adding, I am a loving Christian man who would never hurt a flea. We all have bad days, but all as All right, a so let's just end it there. You know, they always say that too. It's our number one priority to take care of the children, but yet these school shootings never end. You know, after watching this video, three things came to mind in a big way for me. Number one, the obvious. As I've been saying for literally decades, the American school system is not a safe place for children. My home school spurs page with thousands of articles and videos proves that hands down. And number two, the news report looks to be yet another slam on Christianity in that the second projected slide placed on the screen claimed the teacher is a Christian. If you look through those articles and videos that I have on my aforementioned page, you'll see Christianity has been targeted in a big way in American schools for many, many decades. And number three, notice how this teacher spelled the word flee on that slide. Now, yes, it also appears he missed the fact the caps lock was still on as he used a lowercase i and c in ways that don't work well with proper grammar, but the word flee used here is very telling in regards to his attention to details. No, he's not talking about fleeing as the word he used here would normally be used in a proper sentence, which we know is defined as someone seeking to escape danger in a hurry. He is talking about a little bug found on rodents and house pets. As I also exposed all over the aforementioned page on my website about the home schools is where I think children should be from now on. No one, not even the reporter that read that slide on camera, noticed a literal teacher of children does not know how to spell the word flee. Worse yet, I looked this man up and found that not only is he the basketball coach for the boys of that school, he is also mentioned on his school district's awards page as a certified language arts teacher. He is certified in the English language, and yet he can't spell the word flee. Well, perhaps it was a Freudian slip, as some may think, and he was really saying those children should flee. I mean, seriously, why wait until it's too late, Mom and Dad? I mean, what's more important? Your second income or the life of your precious children? What I shared here is only three reasons to get your children out of the American school system. If you would like a few hundred more reasons, wherein we have well-documented proof your children's spiritual, educational, and even physical life is in real danger, visit my Homeschool Spurs page when you get time. Thank you for watching. God bless.